everybody. Welcome to the Big Egg. Um, as you know, we're here this whole month, courtesy of Boot and Saddle and Lamo Records, to uh, raise money in honor of our dear friend, um, Spencer. Uh, and I don't know about you, but I don't know. I've got like this like, you know when you have energy that's like somewhere between nervous and excited and like sad and like every color and you don't know what to do with it and it feels like the most insane amount of kinetic. Um, so I think we're just gonna make a bunch of noise in the key of A for a second and have a um, group yell. So if you want to yell Spencer, if you want to just yell, if you want to channel some joy or some anger or some whatever, I think I just need to do that. So if you want to do that, and then we'll just start rocking. Um,
doing, bud? Fucking sick. Alright, we're gonna play Tommy now. <laughs> practice twice um, <laughs> because you know life changes and um, so for example um, you'll see that Mr. Barnett over here is dressed so handsomely and it's because he's a high school history teacher um, and when I met Bobby in high school the last thing I thought Bobby would be would be a high school teacher <laughs> so Bobby rolled up to practice straight from school and yesterday Hi, yesterday. Um, Bobby got home from work, and I, I have the distinct pleasure of taking care of uh, Bobby's baby, Millie, a couple days a week. Ooh. Yeah, Millie rose forever. Um, <laughs> she's the coolest. And uh, so the last time Bobby and I had band practice, which was probably like six years ago, I'm guessing, um, so we looked really different, and we were definitely both in college and hanging on by a literal thread. Um, in so many ways, <laughs> individually. <laughs> and then we practiced yesterday when he got home from work and I had just put Millie down for a nap after a day of no naps. And I was like, okay, I'll be anything we can do. <laughs> so I'm 
So we go down to the basement of their house and Bobby picks up the bass and I pick up the guitar and we set up the baby monitor and we're like practicing and staring at the baby monitor, <laughs> praying that Millie won't wake up long enough that we can practice. And it, it just kind of cracked me up because I was like, the times, they are a change. <laughs> And um, and uh, sometimes it's uh, it can be really hard, and other times it can be so fucking beautiful and really funny. And uh, you're hanging out with your friend, having band practice, watching the baby monitor, <laughs> holding your breath. So, and then Sean, who's just like a literal angel, universally adored. I mean, jack of all trades, plays in a million projects, and um, makes a mean pot roast. Um, is constantly trying to feed his friends, which is so nice. Um, I could go on forever, but thanks for playing the game. Thanks for having us. <laughs> um, I'm wearing long johns right now, and earlier I was like, oh, thank God I wore these. And now I'm like, no. Um, okay. Glad you all know that. I'm glad you, I bet you feel the same way. Fun fact, the first time I ever recorded this song was in Spencer's parents' garage. Thank you. Thank you. I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing without you and Matt Chim, you know? I'll get into that later. But love you. Thank you.
thank you all so much. Um, this next song I'm going to do by myself. Um, and it's a song called uh, Shy. Strange Pride and Cherry. So fantastic. Um, uh, and can we thank Andy Clark running the sound in the back? The guy. Thanks, Andy. Um, I love Boom Saddle, and uh, it's my favorite neon sign in Philadelphia. Um, I hope it lives forever. Um, it's a perfect sign. Um, I'm just gonna tune, and then we're gonna play a song called Magic Gone. Woo! Um, <laughs> thank you. Uh, it's funny, 
I um you write things and then you move away from the time in which you wrote them and uh, sometimes playing them feels like scabby <coughs> like you're picking you're picking at things that you're like but it's healed over I don't want to sing it <laughs> um, but other times when you get maybe even a little more space, um, you come back to it and it feels really good. And um, and you can like appreciate it a bit, the distance, because it, it feels more like a mile marker of like, oh, I made it past, not past, but I made it through and with all of that. And, um, you know, I think music is healing. And I think doing creative things with your friends is healing. And I think supporting your friends' passions and believing in their job search or, you know, whatever it is. Like, um, that commitment to each other is, like, so integral. Um, and uh, as I play these songs that feel far away, they also feel very present because I think about how much you can endure with good people on your side so that that train <laughs> Sweet. 
much. Um, uh, we're going to play two more. Um, this is a cover I've been wanting to do for a long time, and um, I started working on it before Christmas so that I could do it here. Um, and uh, I love this song. It's a special song to me. Um, and uh, I think um, what I've learned um, since July is uh, friendship... Um, is just so important, um, which is like the most massive understatement. But, um, you know, I think a lot of people do have conditions about how they love you. And when you don't meet those conditions, they're like, well, all right, that's that. And you're like, wait, what? what? Um, and um, that's not who Spence was. And uh, he was um, painfully funny and so strange. And you could miss it. And like, it was like these little zaps of magic that if you weren't maybe like paying attention totally, you could miss. And uh, just painfully funny, and so smart, and um, and patient, and uh, a good listener, and um, you know, massive Pokemon enthusiast. Uh, the list goes on. Um, but um, Spencer was someone who like supported his friends, can, like without conditions. You know, like oh, wait, can you play in the band? Yeah, yeah, like. Spencer played in so many bands, <laughs> and it's like, where do you get time? But he made the time, and he like was great at it, and 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 supportive and passionate of so many of his friends' creativity, and um, and then was gracious enough to share his with us, and um, you know, I think that's just the biggest gift, and if there's anything we can carry on in that legacy, it's just like unconditional love but like how do you love people and and that shouldn't have limits beyond you know the obvious one but he was just good and he inspired I think others to be good and um and honest about their lives and themselves and um Gosh, you can't really ask for much more than that. So, um, I think I've learned a lot since July. But the biggest thing I learned for is like community and and friendship is something that is not anything you could trade in the world. So continue to foster each other's creativity and support each other, um, and uh, um, don't yeah, no conditions. I know how you on how you love and share it frequently. <laughs> Tell people all the time. <laughs> um, because you just you just don't know. Um, and uh, sometimes that perspective comes at, in weird ways. Um, but once you have it, I think it's good to hold on to. Um, so I just would like to say that I'm very grateful for the people here. And um, for Dink and Tracy. Um, for taking in a million kids <laughs> and being the most universal parents in the world. Um, so many of us wouldn't be doing this without you. So thank you. Um, thank you for sharing your beautiful boy with all of us. Um, thank you for the sauce um, and the love. And um, I'm going to try and play this cover and not fuck it up. And, uh, and even if I do fuck it up, who cares? I don't think Spencer would. <laughs> I hand it sp I, I I tell the story a lot, but it's I love it and it's because it's perfect and um if you could picture it, Spencer would be playing the bass here and I would be over there and Brain would be there and Dave would be there and Keon would be over like here. And um 
as a prank, when I went up to sing a song with cave people, I took Spencer's shaker, which is a very sort of like important part of this one song that cave people plays. And I took it and I gave him um, a canister of domino sugar. And I walked off the stage. And if you can imagine, sugar doesn't make a lot of sound in a can, <laughs> um, a plastic can. So uh, he realized what had happened and just shot me the most perfect grin and held up the sugar in front of like a couple hundred people, I guess, and just shook it <laughs> and didn't give a fuck. And it was so funny. And that's my fa one of my favorite memories of him. Um, down to clown, ready to laugh and shake that sugar. Um, so this is a song by Carol King. Um, and I, for me, this is, um, been a song that sums up the last couple months.
Cherry has merch. Um, Center DP cards are out on the back table. Please take one. Um, thank you, thank you so much. Again, like Eric said, if you have any ideas of charities we could donate the funds to from this month, please, um, uh, you know, feel free to present those ideas to him. And um, thank you all so much for being here. Um, and uh, yeah, um, yeah, just, you know, you know, I don't have to say it. Um, um, and uh, yeah, um, we love you, Spence. And I, I'm so excited we get to celebrate uh, you in this way anytime, really. Um, but in this way specifically, uh, is really special. So thank y'all for being here. Thank you all very, very much. Have a nice